the river's still flooded, so my catfish spot is underwater right now. So I'm gonna go see if I can hit some spawning bluegill. Plan B, I guess. I'm gonna go to one of my favorite lakes and fish some worms under floats and uh, see if I can connect with them. They should be spawning by now, it's early May. So we'll see how we do. Moment of truth. And it looks like the water's clear. All right, man. Looking forward to some good sun fishing. Top notch. I'm starting off here with a size six Aberdeen hook and a bit of line, six pound mono, leading up to a small uh, bobber or styrofoam float. And on this hook, I'm just gonna put a piece of a night crawler and thread it up the hook so the hook is covered. So I'll just pinch the head off here, like that. Take the hook, thread it up through the middle of the worm. Just like that. So that's floating in the, in the water column right there. First bluegill, baby. It's a decent one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They're finally pushing shallow for the spawn. I love it. This one's bending the rod pretty good. Another gill. Eh, not very big though. Felt a lot bigger than he is. But that's still a decent eater. Awesome. There's one. Oh yeah, baby. Seems like not a lot of them are in close, so I'm gonna have to switch up tactics in a moment here. But that's sun fishing for you. You gotta evaluate it every time you, every different day you go out, you have to reevaluate what you're doing because those fish will move around depending on the conditions. Right when it hit the water there, this guy hit. Man, they're feisty today. They're jumping and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a female. See the belly on it? Females get like the yellow belly and the orange orange ones are males. The ones with copper bellies. Feisty little guy. <laughs> they're like they're they're surfacing a lot. And these guys are fun today. Whoa buddy, whoa buddy. There we go. Tell you what, it's heating up a little bit. Starting to be a fish every 20 seconds or so. This guy feels really tiny. <laughs> this one is not an eater. <laughs> Man, that one's catfish bait. I have plenty though, fortunately. I'm only fishing the ones that are about 20 feet out or closer right now. Another small guy, jeepers creepers. Oh, this is a bass, I think. Yeah, it's a bass, awesome. Look at that little large one out there. That's really cute. Hey, right now all I'm doing is taking this worm and bobber rig, whipping it out there, and it goes like 20, 25 feet, and then the wind is making it drift this way and come towards me because the line bows. <laughs> wow, another baby. I'm gonna start fishing out deeper in a moment. I'm setting up a three-way slip sinker rig for it. All right, took my second rod and set up a three-way slip sinker rig on it. Got a one and a half ounce weight, two tiny barrel swivels that slip from each other. One up the main line with weight, and then a fairly long leader down to a night crawler on a size four Aberdeen hook. I just give it a spin to keep them from tangling and cast her out. And another little guy feel it feels like on the float setup. Oh, this one's okay. This one's a keeper. Small, but still got some fillets on him. Well, that feels like a decent one. First cast on the 
actually second cast with the three-way slip sinker rig. Woo! My back reel broke on my, my reel. <laughs> I gotta hold on to it. Oh yeah, look at that one. That's a nice pumpkin seed right there. Holy cow. That's the best fish yet. This trip. It's a lipper. That's a beautiful pumpkin seed right there. Awesome. Switching out to a heavier weighted float so I can really whip this primary rod out there. Action's a lot hotter so far in the three-way slip sinker rig. I had a feeling it would be because there's not many fish right in front of me spawning right now. I've only gotten six or eight or so so far. And normally I would have 25 by now if it was a hot bite and they were full on spawn. So I bet you they're staging for the spawn, which means they're out deeper, which is why I set up this three-way slip sinker rig. Ooh, that's a piglet. That's a piglet. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at that gill. That's a nice gill. Jeez. Very nice. That's definitely a fish. I switched out the rigs, so the Extreme, the BPS Extreme I got here has the three-way slip sinker rig now, and the other one has the float rig. So I can't deal with that other one all day. Casting it back out that far, just uh, it's making a mess, a line tangle. A nice little pumpkin seed. It's cool. Got one here on the heavier float rig, the weighted one. Just kind of drifting it all the way across there. Nice little gill. I think I got another bass here. Get it on nice and quick. No, it's a trout. Wicked cool. I caught a trout. That's awesome. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Hello. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Come in. Cheapers, creepers. Let me hold you. Nice. Stocked rainbow trout. Probably a holdover. He's about 12 inches and they stock him in at 9 or 10. Oh yeah, that feels like a good one. Yeah, girl. Right when it hit the water, he, he engulfed it. Come on, 11 incher. I want one for my wall. I can make a replica of it after I let it go. That's what I really want, man. Oh, it has a, there's a stick attached to it. That's why. That's friggin' lame. Lame. Come on. All right, this one's actually a fish. <laughs> I feel him wiggling on there. Not a stick like last time. <laughs> Feels like a decent one. Doesn't feel tiny. See a rod bopping? That's him. Woo wee! Woo -hoo -hoo. Toad of a pumpkin seed. Hell yeah! Woo wee! Nice. Solid, beautiful pumpkin seed right there. Awesome. See how the line's going out right there? That's the sunfish running with it. Sometimes they'll just grab the tail on a whole wiggling night crawler like I've been using because they're picky. So you gotta let them eat it down for a moment if you're using a whole night crawler. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, baby. That feels like a good one. Yeehaw! Friggin' gnats are eating me alive, man. Don't think I'm gonna limit out today. <laughs> it's been a very slow day of sun fishing. Oh yeah. Oh look at that gill, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Hello. Very nice. One. Two. Trout. Three, four, 
five keepers creepers seven nine eleven twelve thirteen well, that's it for now. Pretty slow day so far. 13 keepers and a trout. Man, sunfish are so annoying. If you let them eat it for too long, you gotta let them eat it down, but if you let them eat it for too long, they'll start serpentining side to side and uh, getting a bunch of junk. Actually, this might be a bass. That might be why it's heavier. I saw him jump out there. It looked kind of slender. Probably not gonna do this for too much longer. Just, I don't know. I'll try to get like 15 or 20 of them, and that'll be enough. Kind of hate keeping a whole limit anyway because then I have to edit the video, and it takes forever. And you know, there's gonna be in a, in a limit of sunfish. There's gonna be 50 sunfish plus the other uh, the other vlog stuff. So it takes a long time to edit them up. It was like, <laughs> I remember like spending weeks on those 200 plus sunfish days. Those were crazy. Best day I had a couple years ago was 252. Oh yeah, it's a nice bass. That's why it feels so heavy. Holy cow. Look at that. That's a chunk. <sighs> cool. Nice. I'm barely hooked here. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> On a worm. That feels more like a sunfish. That's more like it. Coming in hot. Here we go. Woo <laughs> Woo-wee. Little pumpkin seed. Cool. Beautiful little guy. I'm still getting bites fairly consistently, but I don't feel like fishing this slow bite much longer. I'm spoiled. I like uh, hot sun fishing. <laughs> it's a nice gill. Yeehaw, nice one to end on. Quality's here, but the, the numbers have not pushed in yet for the spawn. You can tell just by the edge here, all this algae all over the place. They'll make circles all over the place here when they bed. So they're still in the transition right now. Just starting to move in. Just in case you've never seen it before, this is what 15 gills and pumpkin seeds plus a trout looks like. Enough for a meal. That's all I really want. So I'm headed out now. <laughs>